the screen and Android I agent software has two parts one is the agent control center the other is the agent monitor first we go for the agent control center for the setup this is the agent control center the first setup will be the database configuration wherein we need to key in the server name the SQL server name database name can give any database but by default it will be SV agent database for now uh, the supported database is MS SQL uh, database username password Cre uh, create db since it's already existing uh, it says uh, the database is existing save configuration the next will be the table configuration name for the event log table because the agent software extracts the event logs so we define the event log table this is user defined you can create the table name and give the columns for example IP address for uh, log date and time is the data type is data date time this is uh, log data type this character this is for more for the SQL table configuration to see the output this is for the controller table once uh, all the parameters are set we can save the configuration next is the controller list wherein we have to key in the IP address port number for the controllers to grab the locks we can add type in the IP address port the port number will be 3000 we can key in any IP address once it's safe one 115 for example and the port number is 3000 location polling type we can do it by uh, auto polling or by schedule if we select schedule we need to key in the schedules we have three schedules option or go for the auto polling the next is the service within the uh, once all the database table and controllers are set we have to go for the service we start the service so now the service is running next is the agent monitor HP 900 i agent agent monitor very base we can stop the monitoring clear list okay we can freshly start the monitoring any transaction is immediately captured by the agent monitor so this is the event is all the agent hours any uh, invalid transaction is not captured by the monitor only the successful transaction is captured by the event log for example there is one is to end one is to end transaction but if it fails the transaction is recorded The status is indicated with different code 06. This code refers for the failed transaction. These are the event logs captured by the agent monitor. Now we go for the SQL server to view the logs. The database name is SV agent. The two tables, event log and the controller tables. Event log table gives all the 
and not detailed wherein the controller table means the controller information like the IP address port number this would be the controller details depends on how we configure at the control center this IP address, IP port, location, polling type and the schedule details this are the event log table where we get all the details of the event log based on how we configure the tables at the control center here before changing any configuration we need to stop the service and go for the table configuration wherein we can see the details on how we configure the table first field is the IP address so this will go according to this predefined configuration first field will be the IP address then is the date time log data then is the result function key manager ID and so on so this table configuration depends on the third party software table configuration so based on the the third party software tables we can define and configure the SQL table output from the SP9 and